Yo, yo, welcome to Trippy Commentaries. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have just released their new jerseys. We got the first pictures of them this morning. And now the Trippy crew is here to give you our reactions. Do we like it? Do we hate it? Mm. Let's get into it. I'm RJ here with K Mac. What's going on? Justin. Yo, what's up? And let's get right into it now. This is the first picture right here that that we all saw. The Buccaneers couldn't hide it anymore. They had to show us the new jerseys. <laughs> Definitely a big change from what we're used to. Yeah. Kyle, what's your immediate reaction? Well, I went on Twitter this morning and I saw from the actual verified Buccaneers Twitter page this new uniform on me. I was like, wait a second, is this a joke? Like, yeah. are they messing with us? And uh, unfortunately, they weren't. Um, I thought it was fake when I first saw it. Very first picture there was with the white one you're seeing here right now. Um, I just, right off the bat, I didn't like it. Yeah, it's definitely a big change. We did see the helmets not too long ago, so they, they debuted those. Some of us here at Trippy Coms loved them. Some of us weren't, you know, so crazy about them. But now we have the new jerseys. Huge change. You have some more orange into the uh, the unis now. A lot more white as far as, you know, a little bit more white, I think, is stands out more than it yeah. used to. Justin, what is your thoughts of the new jer the uh, new unis here? Uh, at first, I was a little confused. I mean, I, I really like the uh, <clears throat> second generation designs that they had. I also like the, the creamsicles, frankly. But yeah. uh, the first thing that stood out is not good on these jerseys to me were the numbers. Yeah. Um, I could live with everything else, but the, the font of the numbers, you know, I just, I, I didn't get it. It looked like an LED alarm clock or something. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. Which is not something I like seeing first thing in the morning. And now right. we got to see it on the Bucks uniforms. Now, I mean, I'll learn to love it eventually. We have no choice. But to me, the, you know, the Bucks jerseys that we had for the past, what was it, 17 years or so, yep. you know, that was perfect to me. I, I love those jerseys. Yep. I feel like, you know, they were on the same line as the Packers. The Bears, even the Jets, how the Jets went back to their original jerseys. I love those. I just like that, those jerseys that feel like they can stand the test of time. And we had that, but that is gone forever now as we have these new jerseys. Now we're showing the side views now. And I gotta say, I love this side view the orange Nike oh, yeah, check. I yeah, I agree. The I new pirate ship looks cool and all. But sick. look at the other side. Okay, now they have Bucks. Uh, what? What's that about? That was never on the jerseys. That's a nickname. It's, uh, yeah, it's out of place, too. It just, I mean, because it doesn't say Tampa on the other side or anything like that. Yeah. It's just out of place. I should, it should have went with the uh, pirate ship on both sides. But, yeah, I agree. Um, I do like the uh, I do like the orange uh, Nike check though. I yep. do, I do. I like that. I mean, we can give it credit for that. You know, and the, the helmet. Orange football. There's the helmets. Yep. Those look good. You know, I think those are going to look great on game day. The bigger flag, I think, will look nice. You know, from the stadium and on our HD TVs. But how do you think the helmet looks now with the jersey? I I don't I think the helmet's probably going to be the positive part about it now. Yeah. Um, like I said, I think we'll learn to love it once we see it on TV. We'll like it. But my main thing that I don't like about the new uniforms is they just don't look piratey enough for me. Right. And that might not be a word, but that's that's the thing. Yeah. It looks too futuristic. Well, the thing I don't with the helmets, the helmets are kind of a little shiny. They're, they're dark, but they're shiny. And then it's almost like you got like a matte finish on the jerseys. It's yeah. like a dull dark color now. It, to me, that it, right. it doesn't really match. I don't know. I guess we got to see it in like the sun sunlight. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. help that the pictures, the pictures have a black background. You know, the, that's we're, we're probably not seeing exactly what they're going to look like. Um, I saw McCoy had tweeted out something earlier today. He's like, Really got to see them in person to to be able to you know, appreciate them. Yeah, I've heard um, that. So I mean that that could be a possibility, but with the numbers, I just don't like it. To me, these jerseys look like something from Arena Football, something from the XFL. Yeah, it's yep. just not NFL material to me. Maybe some lower end college team that's trying to you know look good. Um, you know, I mean it's it's hard to hate on these jerseys because we're all Bucks fans, but. I just really felt that they could have done better. Yeah, I think the numbers could have looked more symmetrical on the jersey, like having the cutoff nine or the jagged three. I know they're trying to emulate uh, pirate sword carvings or that's something. That's what I've heard. But I, I guess I don't really they, think it looks like it. I guess that's why they went with the chrome outline on it. So. Right. Yeah. yeah, so the chrome outline will be will like highlight in the sun, so that, that'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Yeah. yeah, they say that one will look good under, you know, at nighttime. I under heard we're trying stars. to blind the opposing team with our chrome face <laughs> yeah. and chrome numbers so we uh, we can get an advantage. 
Yep, so there you have it. That's the new uniform. I gotta say, you know, it's it's just not, like I said, it doesn't have a buccaneer feel to me. I guess we will learn to love it. Um, but yeah, they'll start winning, we'll all love it. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna have a lot to do with it. If the Bucks start winning, then we're gonna like it real quick. It's just gonna be, you know, part of the new team. But if they don't win, then you might see people not like the uniform. That has a lot to do with what people think. Believe it or not, there were people in Seattle that didn't like the new green being featured, you know, in their uniforms, and now obviously everybody loves it now that they won yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. So we'll see if the Buccaneers can, of course, come out with a strong season. Now, one thing I heard about the uniforms, too, is there's apparently three different pants and five different socks options. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's that's so, great. To go along with the white and red. Uh, but it's like, who cares about that? When when the numbers, to me, that's like the focal point of the uniform. I mean, look at those numbers. Yeah, those are solid. Why don't just why, keep those numbers with these and do the chrome around it? You know, I don't yeah. care. Yeah, that would look good. So. Yep, so, you know, we have the new uniforms, you know, obviously a lot of people are saying that we have to wait to watch them, you know, in action and they will look better. To me, you know, they're not, it's just too much of a drastic change yep. from, like Justin said, the second generation uniform. I mean, we, we still kind of have an admiration for the first generation. A lot of people kind of equate those uniforms with losing because the Bucks were so bad back then, but they still look good in my opinion. Um, now the second generation uniforms, these ones are now retro. They'll be they'll go down in history with this Super Bowl team. Now we have the new numbers that uh, look oh, like man. the twenty four. I, I just don't logo. get this too at this time because you really think that the Bucks are trying to put themselves in a positive light here. They got Lovey Smith. They right. want to go in a positive direction, and today we've been the laughing stock of the sports world. Every single sports analyst, whatever, has got their two cents in on Twitter about how bad these uniforms yeah. are. Yeah, and in the end, I don't. I think it matters the Bucks fans. It's what they think about it is really what matters. There's going to be yeah. the, the people online that are going to hate it, yeah. especially from other cities like Pittsburgh or Indianapolis who have the classic unis, you know. But um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we'll see if this one can stand the test of time. We'll see if maybe, because there's been a lot a lot of negativity surrounding the uniform today. It's been about, it seems about 60-40, and that's kind of being positive about it. So maybe they do make some slight ch touches, especially to the numbers. I think we'd like to see that, because, you know, we haven't officially seen this in action yet, so they yeah. do have time to change it up. Um, but Nike's behind this. You know, they seem pretty proud. They had, you know, the... the Big conference today on the uh, the phone there with all the media members, and, and they were kind of giving their description about why they made the changes. So they have their reasons behind it. So there it is. Any last thoughts you guys have about the uniform? Anything that you would like to see changed, possibly? I'd like to see a third alternate all black. That'd yeah. Be sick. Or all pewter, I guess. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Color whatever good. they're considering this color to be now. Yeah. Charcoal or something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and all black with, with the letters being white and chrome would be pretty sick, or even red and chrome. Yeah, now Nike has completely taken over the jerseys in the NFL, so if your favorite team, if you're not a Bucks fan, and your team has not changed its jersey you know, anytime recently, look for your team to probably make a change. You can see Nike's trying to put their stamp on the league here. They, you know, they already changed a lot of the uniforms, and, and some of the changes people didn't even really think about too much. They didn't realize. Some right. teams have done slight changes. Yeah. So I think now that the Bucks have done this, other teams are going to go for the more futuristic looking jersey. Yeah, the Bucks could be the first because they do have a unique look. I mean, we can say that. Yeah. Say what you want. I mean, they're they're going to be the only team in the NFL with this look. It's kind of like a concept car to me, though. Like you see these concept cars, they're all futuristic. And it's like right. What is that? And they never come out with it. So maybe who knows? I yeah, mean, we're going to see this concept car on the road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think despite what the fans may say about it, the Glazers, they, they put in so much money in two years' worth of you know design, so they're, they're not going to go back on what they did. But Even looking back to the old Buccaneer ship there, I mean, I do like the new one, but yeah. the old one was pretty cool too. I, I like the water underneath the new ship. Yeah. And yeah. I was I was hating on the uh, on the change of the emblem a little while, but now I'm looking at it, I like the skull a lot better, so maybe yeah. give it some time, maybe we'll all come back around and say... You know, we actually do like these jerseys. Let's see them on the field first, you know, sure. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, when the Rays changed their jerseys, a lot of people, believe it or not, I don't remember this, I guess didn't like it. 
Um, a lot, and you know, of course, now we all love their jerseys. Yep. A lot of people didn't like the direction that the Tampa Bay Lightning went when they yep. changed their jerseys. They they pretty much had the same exact color as a Toronto Maple Leaf. So a lot of us were like, "Hey, what's what's up with that? Why right. do we have the same color as these guys? We're black." And now, you know, I like it. I gotta say, it kind of fits the area. It's a nice ocean, you know, kind of color. It does. Or I guess you could say bay in our, you know, or gulf here That in might Tampa be bay. why the Glazers ended up with a redesign, because the other teams in the Tampa Bay area had gone through similar redesigns in 08 and I think 2010 or 11. So yeah. it was about time, I think. And I think they're trying to recharge the fan base after four pretty terrible years. Yeah. And try to make some money at the same time. And making money, oh yeah. Everyone's got to go buy new stuff now. So. Yep, and as much as I don't like the jersey right away, I will definitely be buying a new jersey pretty soon. I'm going to wait for the draft to see who the Buckos can can get. If it's a big name player, possibly Sammy Watkins, I might get that guy. Might not get his jersey, so we'll see. Um, but last thing I want to say about this is that a lot of teams, you know, as I was kind of touching on, a lot of teams introduced their new jerseys, and the fan base wasn't exactly thrilled with it. And then you see the teams win or, or, you know, what have it. And then people start to get aboard. So hopefully as a Bucks fan base, we can get some wins. Because I think it's pretty obvious that'll make us like these jerseys pretty damn quick. Right. All that matters is what you can do on the field. Yeah. So we'll see. We're, of course, very uh, positive going into this season. There's our boy, Lovey Smith, our new head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We got a new GM, Jason Light. I will say, going back to the jerseys here one last time, they do look better from behind. They do. I don't know if that makes sense, but for some reason they do. I like the red ones a little bit better. Yeah. And that's the last thing I'll say about that. So we'll wait to see him on the field. We're excited for the draft. We'll definitely be covering that. And, of course, we'll bring you any updates if the Glaciers and the Buccaneers want to make any other changes to the unis and the logo. But it looks like that's it. So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Make sure to drop a comment if you have any take on the new uniform that we didn't say ourselves. Please hit the like button. Definitely make sure to subscribe, you know, especially if you're a Bucks fan because we'll be covering them all season. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.